Okay, hopefully we're looking at the uh, dismantled oil pump I've got here from a BSA A65 engine and it was um, brought in just the engine, I don't have the bike here because the oil light had been coming on and the owner wanted me to strip it down and investigate why obviously and I stripped the engine right down and I couldn't really find anything that I could say, ah that's it um, the main the main bearing, the time inside bush was a really good close fit on a nice clean journal on the crank. Um, the big end journals are good, the shells are good. All the usual culprits um, checked out okay. Um, what else did I look at? Oh, even the sludge trap. I had that out. Although interestingly, the sludge trap, the, the plug, the screw-in plug at, in the end of the crank that goes in after the sludge trap wasn't screwed in far enough. And the head of it had been going round and walloping... Uh, the face of the thrust washer on the time inside bush so I'll have to get another thrust washer for it but the bush is fine anyway further investigations led me to stripping down the oil pump and um, whether the camera will pick that up or not I don't know um, but that spindle there is pretty wobbly as is the gear also this one And although I've taken the gears and shafts right out of the pump and there's no scoring as such there, there's obviously wear. So it just proves that um, the pump housing or body doesn't actually have to be scored to be worn out. Look at that. And the thing is that spindle passes right through that bulkhead or wall. This is the feed side of the pump. There's a the scavenge side. And that wobbling fit there any pressure that you build up on the feed side some of it's going to escape straight into the scavenge side without even getting pumped into the engine so although this pump body is not all gouged and scored it is totally worn out and on top of that there's also again I don't think the camera will pick it up too well but there's a little bit of wear or cutting into the face of the back plate there I can feel it with my finger I can feel a step between where one gear runs and the other one runs. So this pump, although it doesn't actually look too bad visually, is worn out. So I'll be recommending and probably fitting a new pump to that, I would I would imagine. Um, and as for the rest of the engine, well, it's apart. Big end shells aren't very expensive, so I'll put a new set of those in anyway, even though uh, the ones in there don't appear to have been in there for very long. There is a little bit of scoring, so I'll take the crank up to my uh, crank expert in Aeron, let him see whether he thinks it needs a polish, or I doubt it'll need a regrind, but before I go putting new shells in, I'll let him take a look at that. Get the new thrust uh, shim for the uh, time inside bush, and then I think it can all go back together, and if we fit a new oil pump, good oil pressure will be returned to this engine. But that, that oil pump there is worn out, and um, gears on the scavenge side were equally wobbly, but uh, they wouldn't affect the oil pressure or the oil pressure light. But I know just by checking the feed side alone that that oil pump is worn out. So never overlook the obvious, because everything else in that engine looked really good but obviously been rebuilt and all put back together with an old, tired and worn out oil pump in it. And uh, that's the root of the problem here.